Jewish history is filled with moments of excitement, joy, and miracles, but unfortunately, also moments of tragedy. And while the Jews have suffered in many ways for many years, there was no greater tragedy than that of the destruction of the temple almost 2,000 years ago. That moment is the cause of all suffering since. I would assume that there must be a litany of horrible sins that cause this calamity, but there isn't. There's just one. The Talmud is clear and explicit as to the sole cause of separation, a lack of unity and brotherly love. What? Unity? That's the reason? Not murder, idolatry, and big bad sins like that? It's that we didn't get along? I mean, come on. All this tragedy because I dislike someone for no reason? Because I gossip? I'm not nice enough to my friend, I feel jealous? How could that be? Let me tell you a story. When I was in high school, I was on the hockey team. One year we made the playoffs. A week before the game, my good friend and teammate and I got into a fight. We stopped speaking to each other and it got very tense. Game day was different between us. We used to be in real sync, but this time we weren't. I just didn't feel like helping him score, and I think he felt the same way. We were down 2 nothing after the first period. We went into the locker room, and the coach was not happy. He waited for quiet and said to everybody, For us to win this game, winning has to be everyone's number one focus. If it's not, let me know so someone else can take your spot out there. We all nodded. We've heard the speech before. We screamed, Go team! and started filing out of the locker room. The coach stopped me and my friend. You two are benched for the second period. What? Why? Because winning isn't your number one focus. He said, I don't know what's going on between the two of you, nor do I care. If your number one focus is winning, it wouldn't matter who scores, who looks better, who gets to be the hero. For a team to win a playoff game, it needs to join together, drop their egos, and unite under the same goal. For you two, winning is important, but that's not your number one focus out there today. You are more important than us. So until you change your attitude, you're not playing in my game. As Jews, we have to ask ourselves, why are we here? We are here for the unique task of bringing God into the world, infusing his ideals, his love to others. When we're easily angered, feel jealous and envious, when we hold on to our egos, when we don't extend our hand to help someone in need, we're showing God, you're not the most important person, I am. That person isn't a teammate of mine who will join me to increase your honor. That's a competitor of mine that'll diminish my glory. You see, unity is not just about how we treat each other. It's also a litmus test about how we feel towards God. A lack of unity shows that even if we look, talk, and dress otherwise, we really don't believe he's in the center of the world. We think we're in the center of the world. And by choosing ourselves over God, we lose a piece of that specialness. We lose the right to his home. Take a minute and ask yourself, what am I playing for? My honor, my recognition, fame, or fortune, or his? If it's his, if we start to shift our focus from me to God, then we look around and start to see teammates and not competitors. We start to unify. And then, nothing could stop us.